Hi, in this video I'm show you how to filter out unique values from a table. Let's say for example we have a table like this and we will, all we want to do is get our unique values out of that table. So for example uh, these values are the same and we just want to get a table like this where we only have one instance of that value, that, that record, that unique value or a set of values. And I'm going to show you two ways to do that. One where we would uh, just basically get this table and just reduce it down to this table in one set and the other one is where maybe we want to keep this table and have another table that shows just the unique records or values. So let me go ahead and go with the first example here. So let's say we have a table like this and all we want to do is just get all the unique records or values out of that table. All we need to do is just select this table and go under the uh, data and this is a data tab under the data tools group just go ahead and select remove duplicates a window will show up asking you uh, how you want to remove the duplicates I want to I want to have all the duplicates removed for all these columns and then have all these columns checked if you just had uh, just wanted to remove duplicates for one column you can just select that particular column so just basically I want to have all those records that are unique kept and everything else that's duplicated removed so I all the columns are selected I'll just go ahead and click OK and it found six duplicate values and this is actually the uh, table that I have here. If I go back to the demo table, we have items 3, 5, 7, 8, 6, and 4, 3, 5, 7, 6, 8, and 4 here. So that's the way we can do it if we wanted to kind of just uh, transform that table and just have all the other ones, uh, all the duplicates, all the other duplicates removed. So if we wanted to have this particular table uh, of unique values and also uh, keep the other table where we'd have our duplicate values, there's another way to do that. Actually, there's several ways to do that. I'll just highlight one way using the um, advanced filter. So what we can do is go under the data tab, go under advanced, click on that. And what we want to do is we want to create an advanced filter. Oh, first off, we want to kind of create a criteria range. So let me go ahead and cancel out of that. Well, let me go ahead and just copy these headers. Control C to copy, bring it up here, Control V to paste. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, identify an area where I want to have a criteria. And basically, I just want to get rid of anything that's duplicate. So I can choose any of these fields and just put an asterisk. An asterisk is basically a wildcard character. So that wildcard character is the criteria. So it'll look at anything in here, and if it finds anything that's duplicate, um, it will go ahead and remove them. So let's go ahead and go through the advanced criteria. So the advanced filter, or, or the advanced filter. So let me go ahead and click this, this part of the table. Go ahead under data tab. Go ahead to advanced, and it will bring up the advanced filter window. My list range is B9 to D12, which is D12 down here. My criteria range is uh, this particular range here. So it's going to look at that range and see that uh, there's a wildcard character in item. So it's going to look through everything and see which one will fit. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and copy it to another location. So once it creates that filter, it's going to copy it somewhere else. And once I do that, this field here, copy to, becomes active before it was grayed out. Now it's active. So I'll just go ahead and select uh, right next, somewhere close to it. And I want to have only the unique records show up. So once I click on that, it's going to put the unique records right there. So we have 357864, and that basically is a copy or a copy of this table but only with the unique values. Of course the other way to do it, as I mentioned there's many ways to do it, is you can also go ahead and just create a copy of this table over here and then do the remove duplicates as I did in example one and you would have another table there. So there's many ways to do that. Actually that probably could be the third way you can think about doing it. But I guess I just wanted to kind of show this way with the advanced filter feature in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.